Good morning. Um, I'm going to walk you through real quickly a first in, first out costing <coughs> excuse me, problem for um, Chicago clay. These are just the purchases and issuance of materials during the month of March. What you'll see is when I work on one of these ledgers, I'm actually going to end up with three columns. I'm going to have what I received, what I issued, and then a balance column. Because technically the materials come in to, um, to inventory, they get issued out to WIP, and then what's received minus what's issued should give me a balance. Because ultimately what I want to do is I want to be able to see how much of my how much materials remained in inventory at the end of the period and then how much were consumed or how much were issued out to the work and process inventory. So let's um, get started and what we're going to start with is our first transaction. March 2nd we received 200 pounds. We paid $9 a piece um, for those 200 pounds of material. Evidently, we had no pre-existing balance in our materials account because the new balance in the account is $1,800. That's simply 200 times $9 gives me $1,800. From there, I'm going to make my second transaction, which is I received another 60 pounds at $10. So I'll go, the, go ahead and put them over here in my received column. And I'm going to take 60 times 100. Gives me $600 worth of materials. Simply take the $1,800 plus $600. And at this point in time, at the end of March 8th, the balance in my inventory account is $2,400. On March 18th, I'm going to issue 100 pounds. Because this is first in, first out, I come up here to my oldest, or the very first materials that I got in, and that's where I'm going to issue them from. So I'm going to issue 100 units, and I'm going to use this $9, because that's what these oldest units cost me. So I take 100 times $9 gives me $900 and you'll see that that is a negative and taken out of the balance of my inventory account. So the existing balance in inventory is $1,500 and you'll see here that the total of what I've issued to date is $900 in materials. So we look at the next um, entry and we get some more materials in. I get 240 pounds in at $12. So that comes over here in this received. And I say, all right, I got 240 pounds at $12 a pound for a total of $2,880. I'm not issuing anything, so I don't make an entry here. I simply carry over here. You'll see I've taken that 240 pounds at $12. I've added it to the $1,500 balance in the inventory account. So as of March 24, balance in my materials um, account is $4,380. All right, so we've been buying a lot of stuff. We haven't been using a lot of stuff. Now we're going to use it up because what we're going to do is we're going to issue 200 pounds. Remember FIFO. So I'm going back here right, to my very first material and I'm going to issue from here first. Well I already took a hundred of these units out didn't I? So I don't actually have a hundred here. Actually all I have left of those nine dollar units is a hundred of them. So I'm going to issue all 100 units out of that very first batch. But I've got to issue a total of 200 units. So what I've got to do now is I've got to find out, all right, where else can I get 
I've got to go and, and collect up my 200 units. All right, so now these are completely gone. So now I'm going to go here because this is the next one. Remember, first in, first out. And I'm going to take all 60 of those units. They cost me $10 a piece, and I'm going to issue those. So now I have none of those left. I've used all those up. <clears throat> but I've only issued 160 units at this point. Well, I've got to have 200 units, so I'm still 40 shy. Well, I'm going to take them out of those. So I'm going to issue 40 units out of that last bucket, so to speak. They cost me $12 a piece, so 40 units at $12. All I'm going to do is then extend this. I'm going to say I have 100 times 9, 900, 600, 480, to give me the total amount that I issued out of my inventory account. Well, now I know a couple of things. One, I took 40 units out here, so I have 200 left. Well, these are all gone. These are all gone. This is all I have left in my inventory account. All I have left in my inventory account are 200 units at $12. 200 units at $12 is $20. $400. So now I want to know if I'm looking to decide or have to, to make the report to determine what did I actually issue versus, versus what I actually used. Well, I already know that my ending inventory balance is $2,400. It's those 200 units. Out of tw at, that are $12 each. So there's my $2,400 in terms of my balance in my inventory account. How much did I consume or how much did I issue to WIC? It's always going to be the total of this column right here. It's going to be quantity issued times unit price gives me the amount for $2,880. If you want to know how to check yourself to see if you've done this correctly, if you take the total amount received, which is 1800 plus 600 plus 2880, gives us total amount received of 5,200, drawn with this thing is not that easy, but it's $5,280 minus what I issued should give me the balance in my inventory account. So if I take $5,280, I subtract the $2,880 that I issued, it gives me this balance of $2,400. So hope this helps. Um, let me know if you need anything else, and I will see you guys around Blackboard. Bye.